this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 5D manifestation techniques that go beyond the law of attraction. I think this video has the potential to help you manifest from a totally new paradigm and it can change your life. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you that of the manifestation process you can use as you raise your vibration and you ascend to what is called and having fifth dimensional perspectives. Now, just to give this video a little bit of a basis, understand that right now on the planet, there is an ascension of vibration happening, which means that there is the planet herself, Mother Gaia herself is raising her frequency. And you can measure this with what is called the Schumann resonance. As Mother Gaia's frequency increases, so does our frequency increase because we are part of the earth, just like we have cells inside of our body, we are the cells in planet earth. So as planet earth is raising her vibration, we are raising our vibration. And what we are raising our vibration into is a new level of consciousness. Now, you knew about this before you came to this and even were born, you knew about this and you understood that this would be a time of going through the ascension process and raising your vibration. You knew that, even if it was at more subconscious levels. You may not actually remember completely consciously, but at a deeper level, you do remember this. You decided to come here because you knew that the party was gonna be here, that people were gonna be raising their vibration, and that this was a time, in a way, to transcend thousands of years of karma all in one lifetime. So that you don't have to keep coming back and back and back to the third dimensional states of consciousness. You decided that, you are like, okay, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna raise my vibration, I'm gonna go through this process, we're gonna go from a society in general, we're gonna incarnate into a society in general that has forgotten who they are, so that I can remember who I am and help the collective consciousness also raise their vibration by me embodying my high vibration. So that's what you thought. You thought, okay, I'm gonna be in my high vibe, that's gonna affect everyone else. So, as amazing as it is that so many people are coming to learn about that of manifestation, how they create their own reality, what is even more powerful is when you do this from a 5D perspective, because when you manifest from a fifth dimensional perspective, things happen easier than ever. Now, just to give this a little bit of a basis, a little bit of a foundation, let's look at that at the different levels of consciousness. So we have that of the 3D perspective. This is the duality. This is good, bad, light, dark, up, down, left, right, all of these different opposites, that's the third dimension. Third dimension is also a dimension of normally control. There's been a control factor on this planet for thousands of years. I remember when I threw my, went through my awakening, I was like, why did they teach this in school? Why don't other people know this? Why did I have to learn through this through a whole bunch of pain that ended up giving me this spiritual awakening? Why, wasn't I, had any, why didn't I have any access to this information growing up? Well, there's a reason behind that. And the more people that stay in the autopilot mind, the more people that subconsciously give their power over, the easier it is to control things. And that's been going on for a long time. And the third dimension is a level, think of it almost like the solar plexus in a way. It's the will. And what happens is, is in the third dimension, we also have a very strong emphasis on the ego. The ego, which a lot of times can be attributed to the will as well. So. We have this ego that we identify with. We think we're all separate beings on this planet. Many times we may not even be aware that we are immortal spiritual beings living temporary human experiences. And when we become aware of this, that's when we, start to, we can start to raise our vibration. We can stop identifying with the lower vibrational emotions such as shame, fear, guilt, anger. Those all happen from the debris that we get from forgetting who we really are. And part of the purpose of it is to transcend the third dimension into higher states of consciousness, which you could call 4D and 5D. Now, fourth dimension is about understanding vibration. It's about understanding that yes, there still may be a certain level of duality, but it's coming from a much different place. Time starts to become more singular. It's less about, it's less about linearity of past, present, future of the 3D reality where it's very overemphasized. And the four and the 5D, it's about more vibration. It's about more being in the present moment. And in 5D, it's about 
heart-based consciousness manifestation. It's about living from the heart. It's about feeling unconditional love because you realize that everyone else is a reflection of you. So in general, what we're moving into is we have the capability of tapping into four and 5D levels of consciousness. Now, fifth dimensional manifestation techniques have to do with understanding these levels of consciousness that goes beyond the willpower of the third dimension. Not that you can't still use that in the four and 5D levels of consciousness, but this whole paradigm comes from a perspective and an energy state of I don't already have enough. Normally it does. People are like, oh, I want that over there. I want to attract that from over there to into here. And it's emphasizing the lack of that thing over there. There's also a very strong emphasis on time. It's like, now I'm here, I want to be here. Boom, 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 and then I get there. It's linearity, linear is very emphasized in the 3D reality. Now, the fifth dimensional manifestation techniques that I think can change your life is understanding this first idea. Tap into the present moment right now. Because what you want to experience in your life already exists as a vibrational reality. So everything that you want to experience, it's about frequency. And here's the thing that trips up so many people. The experience of waiting, when you create the experience of waiting for something to quote unquote manifest, what you are doing is tapping into a state itself of lacking. Waiting in of itself is something that attracts more waiting. So you could say, when is this relationship going to come into my life? You're waiting for it. Well, you're waiting for it. You're going to continue to create more waiting for it because the vibration of wanting and the vibration of having are two totally different vibrations. Think of it like a TV station. You can tune into one, you can tune into the other. Most people are tuned into waiting, they're tuned into hoping, they're tuned into the lacking, the wanting, which is the lacking. Instead, focus on having it. Now having it, you may say, oh, it's not in my life already. How can I have it if it's not here? You have it because you realize that what you want is a vibrational emotion and feeling. For example, you want that of a relationship. What will that relationship bring you? Most likely, more love inside of your heart, more compassion inside of your heart. And as you start to see that, you can see, how can I tap into that vibration right now instead of prolonging it for the future? Well, there's people in your life that you already love. Family members, doesn't have to be romantic. An animal, friends. Tap into the awareness of the people you already love in your life and feel compassionate within your body because you can generate any state you want from within. We give ourselves permission and we say when the outside changes, then I'll give permission for the inside to change, but that's not the way it works. The way reality works is you must first generate the state from within, you must change from within, and then the outside begins to change. So in the same way, begin to feel the vibrational emotion and feeling of what you want to experience and the outer reflection won't have a choice but to change because that's all outer reality is. It's a reflection. So be aware that a huge, huge, huge transformation happens when you go from the vibration of waiting, of wanting, of hoping into the vibration of having and being. Make it a part of this becomes something a part of who you are. Be in the vibration of being present to the moment. Enjoying the moment. Where you are is perfect. Let the process be the point. Because by doing so, you allow more energy into your being and that allows more to manifest. The fifth dimension is about this paradigm. You can have, do, or be anything that you want. However, make it about the vibration. Make it about the vibrational reality of it, of embodying it now. That will then eventually become your reality. So this is a huge shift when we begin to understand this. Now the other part of 5D consciousness manifestation I want to talk about is something I've been tapping into for years. It is something that I believe a lot of times is very underemphasized in the LOA community in general. And it's really understanding this. Other people in your life, are extensions of you. I made a post on my email list the other day 
talking about, everyone kept asking me this question. Everyone is you pushed out. Everyone is you pushed out. What does that mean? What does it mean everyone is you pushed out? Well, it was a quote by Neville Goddard from one of his books. He wrote the book called Feeling is the Secret, The Power of Awareness, a couple other really good books. And when I heard that he said that, because I didn't read that in any of the books I read, I looked it up and I came to this is, this is what it means. Everyone is you pushed out comes from the awareness that everyone is a reflection of you. And that really there is only you in reality. What this means is that however you feel about you is gonna be reflected back to you. If you dislike yourself, other people will appear to dislike you. If you reject yourself, other people will reject you. If you are hard on yourself, other people will be hard on you. Because what you put out is subconsciously projected out to other people and they reflect that back to you. But at the deepest fundamental level, those other people are other versions of you. And that perspective lets you say, well, how can I change? Because you realize that everything gets back, back to the inner. How can I change? When you understand that, then you have the power to shift your whole life. Because it's less about blame of putting things on other people. It's more about bringing it inwards. So that's the shift that happens. So for this, and the part that I'm elaborating with this, is understanding that what you put out to other people comes back to you because those other people are other versions of you. So, in a way, the universe has a desire of its own, and we are a part of the universe. So, when you have an intention that adds value to other people, that is greatly magnified. I'd say one of the reasons I'm as successful as I am with what I do is because I have a genuine intention to help people. Not that there is no ego there that's like, non-existent, I'm not saying I've transcended my ego, but there is a general intention to add value to other people with the awareness that those other people are other aspects of me. Also, that this is a time on the planet of waking up and many of us, especially you watching my video, most likely came here to wake up and to help other people wake up. So the key to this, the 5D manifestation technique that can change your life as well, is understanding that the more good you put out into the world, the more value you add out into the world, the more the universe helps you. This is also something I've talked about in reality transurfing because it has to do with what is called outer intention. Outer intention is when you do something that adds value to someone else, which is in a quote, outer from you, from the ego's perspective at least, that is amplified because there is a genuine intention there to add value. The universe has a manifestation of itself and when you align with it, you can create whatever you want. But the key is understanding what that may be. There's a time of transformation happening on the planet right now. Many light workers came here to help awaken other people to be in a high vibration. So that assists, there, there's so much energy there assisting us in this process. So this is another untapped thing that I see a lot of people not tapping into. Tap into how you can add value to other people. Look at any successful business as well. A successful business has something that it does that it adds value to other people. Whether it's a product, whether it's a service, whether it's just an emotion. You may say, well how is somebody on YouTube making prank videos um, adding value? Well if it increases someone else's emotion that watches it, it adds value. Comedians add value because they help people to raise out of the seriousness of the ego and it helps people to raise their vibration. Things can be looked at energetically. So ask yourself, how can you add value even if it's just an emotion? And the more you tap into that, the more you raise your own vibration and the more you then manifest from a higher point of view. The last little thing I I'll talk about is that of simply the power of the heart. The head has duality. Left brain, right brain. Good, bad, light, dark, like I was mentioning earlier. Which means when you create from the ego and when you create from the head, you create polarity. You create good and bad, you create the potential for both. When you create from your heart, you create from a singular point of focus. A singular point of focus. So, the key to creating from the heart is just actually increasing the energy in your heart by putting your awareness there more often. Put your hands over your heart right now just for a minute or two. If you just put your awareness in there, you begin to tap more into 5D energy. And the more awareness you put in your heart, the HeartMath Institute has shown, it begins to grow your energy field. So understand that you can do this at any moment. And practice 
bringing the energy inside of your heart and things will begin to change in a powerful way. In higher dimensional states of consciousness, which is where most of us come from, and everyone has existences in 5D and beyond, because we're multidimensional beings. In those realities, we manifest things instantly because there's less of a buffer of time and space. When we come here, there's this time, space, reality, things are slowed down a little bit. But what is happening is the vibration is speeding up on the planet, time is appearing to quicken, the experience of it at least, and because of that, we can manifest things easier than ever. The question is, are you embodying these concepts? Are you putting the awareness inside of your heart? Are you tapping into the universal intention of adding value? Are you focused on the vibration of being and having, or are you focused on the vibration of lack and waiting? These are all things you can begin to see that you can choose something new. Choose to tap into your higher vibrational self. Know that this is a part of who you naturally are. Anything of a lesser vibration is something that is tied on via attachment, via some past experience, and you can complete it and then raise your vibration. When you let go of the bob, it naturally comes up. Your vibration is naturally high. Just let go of lower vibrational emotions by letting go of the past, letting go of the ego, of being so attached to it, and you will naturally begin to raise. So something else that will help you to raise your vibrational set point is a meditation that I have that if you listen to for 21 days, I think it can change your life. It's absolutely free. It's going to be in the top of the description box below. Listen to it for 21 days. I think it can transform your life. Also, I'll be doing more live Q and A's on Instagram. So if you want to ask me questions on Instagram, I do a live Q and A almost every day. Plus, I post twice a day there as well. So you'll see that right here. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification here so you can see the daily vids that I do. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and Namaste.